These are devotions for people at a social distance. This morning in my personal devotions, I was reading from the 11th chapter of Exodus. And at the beginning of that chapter are some events that are really strange and bizarre, but in which I saw some connections with our present situation. 11 verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards, he will let you go from here. Indeed, when he lets you go, he will drive you away. Now, of course, that word plague immediately, you know, grabbed my attention and uh, made me think of the, the situation we've been dealing with as we deal with a, a plague, an epidemic, a pandemic. And actually, this final plague, as I will get in tomorrow, actually does have, have a great deal of a feel of an epidemic, of a, some sort of pandemic. Uh, so it already puts me in mind what we're dealing with. But where we go from there suddenly takes a rather bizarre turn. Tell the people that every man is to ask his neighbor and every woman is to ask her neighbor for objects of silver and gold. So they are supposed to go around to their neighbors, and it seems to be their Egyptian neighbors, and ask to borrow some gold and silver. You know, we're supposed to imagine this, you know, going knocking on your neighbor's door and say, excuse me, ma'am, could I just borrow a cup of silver uh, I need for a recipe? That's, that's sort of what it's like. And, you know, it's bar bizarre. Who's going to lend people gold and silver? Uh, especially in this uncertain times when you never know when you will be repaid. And of course, in this case, they will not be repaid. But it says, it goes on in verse 3, the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh, and so strangely, in this time of uncertainty, in this time of upheaval, uh, these Egyptians stood side by side uh, with their oppressed neighbors and yeah lent them silver and gold without really any expectation that they would be repaid so what on earth is going on here in some ways it has the feel to me of a kind of fantasy that in troubled times in uncertain times people neighbors no matter who they are will come together and will support one another and that's that's wonderful. And honestly, yes, we have seen some of that kind of thing going on, haven't we, uh, throughout this pandemic as neighbors come alongside and do some really extraordinary things to help each other out. And yet I also call it a bit of a fantasy, but because I also see, and this is the situation where we are now, six months into this, this pandemic, uh, where we often are seeing the opposite and uh, neighbor turning against neighbors, you know, as people, you know, grab on to various conspiracy theories around this pandemic and people start to fight with one another about how to react. And we see divisions in, in you know, back in the beginning, we were all let's uh, support our frontline workers, those grocery store workers. Well, today, sadly, we see a lot of those frontline workers dealing with a lot of abuse at the at the hands of the public as they probably take out a lot of their their fatigue and frustration against these frontline workers and it's it's kind of sad um, I want to hold on to uh, what the the first impulse we see in this passage uh, that we can actually be there to support our neighbors it's gotten harder. It really has as this thing has gotten longer, as we've gotten tired and fatigued, as the introduction of really rather destructive conspiracy theories muddy everything up. Uh, I hope we can regain that sense of in uncertain times. Yeah, actually be there. For our neighbors, even though they are different from us. Here we have Egyptians reaching out and supporting Hebrew slaves. Uh, even though there are divides, you know, in terms of racial, in terms of income, in terms of backgrounds, that we can actually be there and really give sacrificially for our neighbors, the people around us, would be a sign of hope. And uh, that is the hope of the new world and a better world. <laughs> Let's pray for that. Gracious God, yes, it's hard. 
as this thing has dragged on. It is hard to hold, to hold on to that, that impulse to, to reach out and support the people around us, the, our neighbors, those who are different from us. Help us to regain that, to hold on to that, not to turn against one another in these troubled and uncertain times. And thank you for the signs of hope where we see that happening. Amen.